Welcome, bitches. This is the With Love Nick podcast. There is nothing off limits here. Oh, get on your power panties. Shit, I always say that. How are we always aligned? You did not. Of course you did. Of fucking course you did. Success happens on the other side of conventional thinking. I say this all the time because when I was conventionally thinking, it left me burnt out and drunk. Welcome to this week's episode of the With Love Nick podcast. Hello and welcome to a special solo episode of With Love Nick. <sighs> this weekend has been one for the fucking books. And I say that with um, complete transparency, emotion. My sacral is going insane right now. I, I all of a sudden am at a loss for words. And I just, I want to share. I want to share so much of this part of my journey. So on Friday, I had woken up to huge response to closing my memberships, which bring me, which brought me $15,000 per month in recurring revenue. I have, I had a mid-level membership and then an entry-level membership. Um, to allow people to come in and just dip their toes in and really start to see some tangible results before they made a commitment to work with me in a higher proximity. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this part of my journey and have seen the discussions of why I decided that having those memberships were no longer a good fit for me and no longer aligned with moving forward in what I desire to do with this facet of my business. And the response was, it was unexpected, but it was anticipated. Um, I had my first six figure day. I generated within 24 hours, $117,000 in sales. And this was the, this was the result of months, if not years of compounded intangibles and compounding on what was working and refinement and consistency and self-leadership. And I want to talk so much about this because there's there's still that misconception when you see these types of results in this industry. There's this misconception that it just happened overnight. Oh, she generated $117,000 in 24 hours. This was an overnight thing. I want that. And so my my intention with sharing this and going live tomorrow on Instagram to dissect how this was all possible. My intention behind this is to share the real and raw moments of what happens when these results are generated and what has happened to lead up to this unfolding. And it wasn't until I, I hit this milestone in my business where it was like, holy fuck. This is why people think that we can have these massive results just overnight, because what we see on the surface level and what we see in the 3D is what we all of a sudden just train our subconscious to expect, right? You see a post of me having this hundred thousand dollar 24 hours. And all of a sudden you say, you know what? I can do that in a day. And then when we don't have the overnight success that we have just chosen to see as this, as this simple, quick thing that happened for someone, we don't see everything that happened behind the scenes. We don't see the 10 years before that, or the two years before that, or the six years before that. And all of those intangibles compounding over time to lead up to some massive result like this happening. And so I really am, I'm going to try to talk about this as much as I can within the next couple of days to really bring you back down to earth, babe, because the possibilities and the opportunities that are open and ready for you are fucking infinite, but they are not instant. They are not overnight. They aren't just wishing and receiving. 
they aren't just taking an actionable step and receiving. They aren't just investing and receiving. It is compounded, intangible results over time, being willing to fail, being willing to learn, being willing to refine, and still lead yourself through the bullshit when things are hard. Still willing to show up for the people who have opted to be in your space, even when it's hard. Still willing to show up for why you started and not losing yourself in the process. And this is how I was able to have my first six-figure day, my first of many and still not be this dysregulated, destructive ball of, oh my fucking God, I can't believe this happened. Like, of course, there's a part of me that's like that, but I'm still grounded. I'm not out buying this new house and new car and all of these things, although I did buy a Gucci belt and four pairs of shoes and two bodysuits. <laughs> but it's like, I already have the experience of landing big, massive money results. I already have the experience of that. And it took time to have the bigger experience, the bigger experience, the bigger experience, the bigger experience, and compounding on that and learning how to lead myself through that and creating a healthy relationship with money before I was energetically ready to have a day like this. And so now it's celebrating with the ones that I love. It's celebrating with my mentors. It's celebrating with my clients. It's not, okay, I want more. I want more right now. How did I do this? Because I just want to do more. It's like, holy fuck, I got to create that. And holy fuck, I am still the same person. If not a better version of myself. This was a whole new realm of self-leadership. This was a whole new realm of what can I do next and the possibilities. And none of them are attached to what can I do next that's a tangible result? What can I do next to get me the next big sale? What can I do next to create another 100K? It's what can I do next? If, if I can do this in, if I can create a six-figure day in 14 years, what can I do in the next 14 years? What, where can I take this energy and place it to set me up for another day of abundance and, and wealth and happiness and fulfillment and gratitude? And this is the difference between people who are looking to create a side gig or a business and where they're just focused on monthly sales and how many clients they can get compared to in contrast with the people who are looking to just create a fucking life of choices and freedom and big money is the byproduct of those desires is in it isn't going to be the byproduct of hustle and sadness and going bankrupt and divorcing your your spouse and neglecting your children because you're trying to get a sale big money will not be the byproduct of that big money will be the byproduct of experiencing abundance and wealth over a period of time and learning how to lead yourself through that even when things are bad and even when things are really fucking big because that is what is going to create an energetic match to attract clients who have the same mindset and who want to do similar work so with that said, I want to share a little bit of behind the scenes of what I shared with my mentor this morning and her response, because that moment was just so important and special to me. And I, I want to share it with you. And then I want to come back and close this very special episode out. Hi, it's me. I've tried to record a few voice messages and I'm really at a loss for words about how I'm feeling. Um, I still feel like something huge is coming. I feel like this is just the beginning. I feel like what was different before mentorship with you and it was just really like I didn't feel safe moving into what I truly, what I know that I truly wanted to move into. I was scared. I was scared of what people were going to think. I was scared I wasn't going to get sales. I was scared to like stop all of the momentum that was happening for a couple of months because I was scared that I wasn't going to get sales. And you know what? I didn't. I collected MRR and I got a few new sales here and there. And I really think that what was happening behind the scenes was just so big that I like I couldn't even see it. And that just is evidence that conversion, most of conversion happens like in a way that we can't even see or comprehend. And, and that's really what I'm 
that's really what I'm holding on to. It's like you have led yourself um, and just watching that allows me to go. It gives me that permission and safety to go. And it's like, it never was about like, what can you give me or what strategies do you have up your sleeve or what secrets do you have up your sleeve? Like the only secret to success is time. Like we, it, it takes time and, and that's all that it is. The, the secret to success is persistence and, you know, being able to refine when we fail and, and lead ourselves and time, right? It's like no person has a strategy that's going to be this overnight big bang success. And if it is, it's not going to last. And I think so many people have this misconception and I feel like I was scared not to give that message for like the first 10 fucking years of my business because I wanted people to think it was easy so that people would buy. And now I don't want the, I, I realize that like that attracts the wrong people. And I don't want to work with people who need me to hold their hands the entire time. I don't want people who are trying to get something out of me. I don't want people who have this like expectation that I have this secret sauce that I'm going to unveil. I, I am, I want to attract the person who like is okay with time and knowing that I have the space to hold for them and knowing that I can help them through those times. I can help them believe in themselves again. I can help them. I can help ignite that fire within them that they lost or can't find. I can help that whether it's a relationship, whether it's a fucking friendship, whether it's your business, whether it's your life, whether it's motherhood, all of these things. I am not limited to just being a business coach or a success coach or a wealth coach. Like I can help you find yourself again. And I was scared to tap into that because I, there was no tangible attached to that. And for so long we are conditioned to market something with a clear tangible. And it's like, fuck no. A tangible comes from compounded intangibles. It always has and it always will. You cannot get a tangible without the intangibles. And so it's like, let me help you find yourself again and find the things that you already have available to you that are already in abundance, that are already resources that you can use to then create a fucking multi-million dollar business. And I just like, I got so lost in needing to prove something to somebody right away so that they wanted to buy with me. And I don't want that. You can watch me for two hours, two days, two months, two weeks, two years, two decades. I don't want you to hire me until you know and are clear on what you want, knowing that I can be the vehicle to get to what you already have available within you and let's fucking elevate it. And let's fucking take it beyond and let's move through the limitations and let's create a universe and not just a country, right? It's like, that's what, those are the people that I desire to attract. And I was not able to voice that in a membership. I was not able to voice that in smaller programs. I was not able because it, I, I, everybody has their own way of doing things. But for me, it was attracting the people that wanted the tangibles before they were ready to step into their, to their own power. And I don't desire that. I, it was people that needed the evidence first before desiring to step into their full power. And I'm not available for that anymore. I'm just not. And so like you just holding this space and showing me what is possible and taking pictures with camels and being quirky in a swimsuit, walking on a treadmill, and then in a fucking car doing your lipstick with a gown on, like all of these things. It's like, I can be contrasted. I can be insane. I can be unhinged. I can be all of these things. I don't have to show up as one thing. Oh my gosh, Nicole, you should see me right now. Like I'm standing, I'm dancing outside, listening to your audio message. And especially when you said, I can help you find yourself again, that landed in such a big way. You are someone that is building something that, that honestly most people will never, never build. And everything that you did for the last 10 years has, has, has helped you, right? Like it got you to a certain point in business and now you're just shifting and evolving into what is like next freaking level leadership and this messaging of I can help you find yourself again in all areas of life, like where you're supporting them with wealth activations and wealth codes, supporting them with motherhood, supporting them with being a business owner, supporting them with magic, supporting them with challenges, that is also going to attract a much better client that 
takes action, gets results, whatever, but she's not hiring you because she thinks that you're going to solve everything for her. She's hiring you because she wants to be inside of your space and walk along the journey with you. I know like this, this 100K day was like a golden gate opening to so much more. I know that this moment is so big and it's going to catapult you into even bigger numbers and dreamy, dreamy, dreamy clients coming your way. Like, I'm just so happy. I love you. I'm so, like, you should see me right now walking around, dancing, celebrating you because this is a really, really big moment in time. And I want to anchor this in and make this be the biggest celebration that you've ever had in your entire life because it's such a culmination of everything that you've done, the big moves, dropping your membership. I remember a month ago when we were talking in Slack about shifting your messaging and saying, no, I'm no longer available for speaking to this person. And that was a scary move, but you did it anyways, and you're here. And I want to really anchor that in because it will just keep being scary move after scary move after scary move. And those will keep those scary moves and those shifts and adjustments that most people aren't willing to make those quote unquote big risks towards the 10 X is what's going to make you more money and more happiness and more freedom and more fulfillment. It's like, what are the 10 X moves that Nicole can make? The ones that are quality over quantity, the ones that are okay, this is what's going to bring in more return. This is what's going to uh, double, like double, triple, quadruple the outcome. But this is also a move that most people want, won't make because they're afraid. But that's, that's not who you are. You're like, I know that I can make this 10x move. Then I should make this 10x move because my future self will thank me for it, even if the immediate result doesn't happen right away. Woo. Like. If that doesn't bring you to tears, (laughs) we are not on the same page. Thank you, Bridget, for allowing me to share that in my solo podcast. Thank you for the support of all my mentors and my family and my friends and my clients. And and my husband is just a rock of like (laughs) being able to hold space for me because it definitely hasn't been easy. Um. It has, it definitely hasn't been easy all the time. So I would love, love, love for you to rate my podcast. I would love for you to leave a comment on my podcast. I would love for you to come to my Instagram and say, hi, I would love for you to join me tomorrow, Tuesday, March 5th at 1 PM CST on Instagram live, where I break down how this was possible. And it's not what you think. And I know for a fact that if you have this vision that seems delusional and big and massive and so hard to hold, you are destined for big things. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And I know, no, 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 that if you are on that, on the same page, on the same wavelength, desiring those big things in your life, I know that tomorrow's live, you will be able to take away things that will help you step into your next leadership role. Because what I have learned over the last 14 years is it's not the information that we are given. It's not the knowledge that we are given. It's the action that we take after we are given those codes. It's how we rewrite our wealth codes. It's how we rewrite what our future actually gets to look like. It's unconditioning what we have been conditioned to believe. It is breaking down the walls of the box that we were put in. And it is being unconventional with the decisions that you make going forward. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you on the next episode of With Love, Nick. Enjoy your day.